Good afternoon, welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. Now, I've actually been on YouTube for a few years. I have several favorite channels, and a lot of them are bushcraft channels. I've literally watched dozens of channels. I've subscribed to, currently I subscribe to about 14 of them. Everyone from Bushcraft Bartons and uh, Fresh Air, that's High Lawny up in Alaska, to Wilderness Outfitters, that's Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School in the States. One of the interesting things is though, I have also watched, I have to say literally hundreds of videos on everyday carries, bushcraft packs, and bug out bags, and all but one of them, and that was just recently, uh, I've always thought there's been something missing. They'll show your knives, your saws, your axes, in some cases, your guns you're carrying. I actually saw one EDC that was eight knives and two pistols, and that's it. Uh, that worries me a bit, because that usually means that EDC is for taking EDCs away from other people. Just a thought. Just my opinion. Anyways, there is one thing that is normally missing from all of these. I'll say the notable exception is Bushcraft Bartons. He posted a video a couple weeks ago at the time of this filming and he's actually got these. But it's very simple. If you're using an axe, uh, more so a saw or even a knife, and you're grubbing around in the bush, very often with spruce trees and so, and so on, you need these. I have not seen any more but one bushcraft guy. The only one I've seen was Bushcraft Bartons who's actually got a good set of gloves. To me, these are essential. And I'll show you a little, uh, one interesting reason why. But these are great. They last a season or two, depending on how, how, how hard you use them. And you know, they're great. They keep your hands cleaner. They keep you from getting those little nicks and cuts. And believe me, when you're in the bush, uh, it's dirty. It's very dirty and anything, even from a little scratch, has a much more likely chance of getting infected than say if you cut your finger in the kitchen at home. One of the reasons I also like gloves is they keep spruce pitch and tar off your hands. Yeah, you may have to clean off the gloves or get another pair, but they do a great job of that. You've also got little pokey bits in trees, in saplings, Whenever you're processing wood, if you don't cut a branch off just right, there's a little stub, and this actually protects you nicely against those. That can be that can be an annoyance. That can sometimes be something more serious. I'm going to show you one more reason, though, and it's to do with saws. This is my Fiskar sliding saw, and I'm just going to change the camera angle, and you'll see. Okay, now here's another demonstration why gloves are such a good thing to have. Very often you'll get cutting, right? And you see, you're getting it started. That wanted to jump out. Oh, it just jumped out. You can actually do a lot. That top one there was a real genuine cut. Like it was, like I was normally sawing. And... Yes, it's gone through the leather, but hey, my hand is still there. The other one I often see is you cut right into your thumb, and that is a bad thing. I've actually treated injuries in the bush with cuts to here. That's one of the most common saw cuts, and cuts to the back of the finger, and even more so with the sweet or bow saws. So let's try one of those. I just have my basic one here. Hope I don't hit the tripod. But you can get cutting on these. Oh. Yeah. You scar up pretty bad. These are the ones very often will give you the cut right here. Or here. Those are the two most common saw injuries you're going to see. Back of the hand or the thumb. Now one of the problems is with that is Saws don't cut like knives. 
saws have very ragged blades and this one by the way you got a good chance of getting tetanus or something because there's rust all over it and that's off in the state of bush saw blades now the thing is right saw cuts are very ragged and believe me having been a camp counselor and taken a bunch and you know worked with boy scouts and stuff i've taken a few kids to the hospital with saw cuts on their hands who thought they knew what they were doing and you wouldn't want to know the number of stitches it takes and all the crud that gets in the wound so it's yeah what would you rather have blood poisoning or loss of a thumb or oh gee i just scarred up a four dollar set of gloves you be the judge quick little note about gloves this is a little add-on to my video earlier this is another type you can pick up this is your simple deerskin gardening glove now these are a little on the small side for me but that's okay you can see already done a little bit of work with them but again very nice light option not as bulky as other gloves do not get the cloth ones get the full leather deerskin gardening gloves and they are great i mean they make you look a little bit like a walt disney character but no these are great Again, they're just as tough as the big ones I had earlier. Okay, so once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video about the probably the most forgotten piece of gear in any bushcraft pack or uh, bug out bag or EDC, the simple gloves. This is Alberta Bushcrafter. My name's Dean. I want to thank you guys for watching and take care.